I think I first knew that I wanted to be a caregiver when I was um, really young, really early on. Um, I was sexually abused um, by my grandfather, and then I was also, um, my biological father was not in the picture. He kind of left at a young age. So um, I always had this kind of absence in my life, and I knew that um, I kind of wanted to make it my lifelong goal to fill that absence in other children's lives. Um, I do that in many ways. I work at the Noise Home for Children. I'm a family services coordinator, um, and what I do there, um, I do one-on-ones with the kids to kind of help them adjust. I work with the families um, to kind of help them with their goals and reunification. Um, I'm also a big in the Big Brothers Big Sisters program in St. Joseph, Missouri, and then I also um, help with Camp Quality. It's a camp for kids with cancer. Uh, with Big Brothers Big Sisters, I'm a big, so um, once a week I have a little girl that comes with me and um, she really loves to cook so I teach her how to cook or we go to the park and do fun things. It's just, it's more about spending that one-on-one -on -one quality time. A lot of times I get people that are like, oh my gosh, you have such a big heart or, you know, I could never do what you do. And honestly, like most of the time I'm like, you know, I feel kind of selfish sometimes because of the rewarding feeling that I get every time I do these things. I get to leave every day with a really rewarding feeling. It's, um, it's a very trying job, but it's the greatest job I've ever had.